Hi there! Now you probably heard many stories of dolphins saving people from drowning. But the story you're gonna hear today is crazy. It's gonna boggle your mind, really. It's a story about a lady, a scuba diver lady, who was in great danger of being eaten by a tiger shark. But luckily for her, she was approached by a whale, a very friendly fella who saved her life. So here's a story about a lady and a whale. Nan Hauser has been a diver for a very long time. For 28 years, she's been diving with whales. Apart from being a diver, Nan is also a biologist. She did a lot of good for the environment. Thanks to her help, a wide region in the Bahamas became a whale reserve. One of Nan's recent dives didn't go very well, though. It was one of the most frightening cases over the course of her career. One day, she took a trip near the Cook Islands. She was up for a dive. Already a few minutes after she went into water, she noticed a massive figure approaching her from the depth of the waters. The figure turned out to be a humpback whale. Just so you know, these guys weighed about 20 ton. On average, they are 14 meters in length. That's quite remarkable, isn't it? I mean, that's a huge fish. But it wasn't the size that seemed menacing to Nan. It was the whale's behavior. Humpback whales are normally friendly, and they don't usually do any harm to humans. So Nan wasn't scared at first. The only thing that confused her was the mammal's strange behavior. However, she got pretty frightened when the whale came pretty close to her. In her researches, Nan Hauser tries to avoid the direct contact with whales, apart from those times when they need help, like when they're ill or brought ashore. But this case was different. Instead of swimming past her, the whale came very close to Nan. It came so close, the diver ended up right on its head. After that, the whale took the lady under its fin. And one time, he even lifted her above water. The interaction lasted for about 10 minutes, but Nan thought it took ages. Nan was equipped with a wetsuit and flippers. All she had was a mask and tube. So she was seriously afraid that something might happen to her. The boat crew couldn't handle the situation. It was totally out of their control. First of all, how do you deal with a 30-ton giant? Second of all, apparently the crew was busy shooting a video. They thought everything was going according to plan. They didn't realize that the whale's behavior was disturbing. Nan couldn't let herself panic. The stakes were too high. Although, luckily, soon enough, everything went back to normal. Turned out the lady and the whale weren't the only ones involved in the drama that was happening. Nan noticed another whale from afar. It was moving pretty quickly, constantly hitting its tail against the water. When Nan had a chance to take a breather, she noticed yet another figure approaching. She thought it was another whale, but it wasn't a whale. It was a tiger shark, one of the most dangerous dwellers of the ocean. That moment Nan realized she was in great danger. Finally, by the grace of God, Nan managed to climb aboard. All her limbs were intact. She was right as rain. When Nan calmed down, she finally realized the true motives of the whales. Turned out they were trying to protect her. It was quite obvious from the footage. The first whale was acting as if Nan was its offspring. It was trying to hide her from the shark. At the same time, the second whale was trying to scare off the beast. The diver lady was well aware of such behavior, but it was mostly about dolphins and even walruses. This was certainly something new for Nan. She hopes that the footage they made will help people better understand whales and see how compassionate and caring they can be. Perhaps people have a lot to learn from whales. What do you think, guys? Should we learn from these gigantic creatures? I really do think they know better. Another interesting incident happened to Adam Walker. The man grew up in Great Britain, and he always adored all kinds of sports. He used to play cricket and rugby in high school. His brother was also into sports, and their dad was always very supportive and would come to all their games. Unfortunately, Adam had a bad knee and back injury, and he couldn't continue his professional career. But the athlete spirit didn't let Adam stop. He found his way out through swimming, 
After Adam graduated from the university, he decided to do what his whole family was doing. He started working in an insurance company. He was very diligent and dedicated. Those qualities let him develop his professional career quite a bit. But he always felt like there was something missing in his life. In 2006, together with his family, Adam went to Australia for holidays. On the plane, he saw one very interesting film called On a Clear Day You Can See Forever. It tells the story of a man who lost his job and, out of frustration, decided to swim across the English Channel. Adam got very inspired and decided to do exactly the same. And so his training began. Before Adam made the decision to cross the channel, all his life revolved around work. He knew that he needs to work on his stamina. He had to prepare himself both physically and psychologically. Cold water and strong currents is what made the task so difficult. Apart from that, Adam had to learn how to avoid dangerous underwater dwellers that could easily swallow the guy. So planning and training took quite a while. On the 14th of July, Adam finally crossed the channel. But man, it was hard. First he got sick because of the cold water. He then tore his biceps tendon. But he knew there was no way back, so he just kept on going. Adam said that he felt like he was locked in a washing machine. To tell the truth, Adam wasn't particularly pleased with his accomplishments, so he set himself another goal straight away. The next objective was to cross the Gibraltar. The water was warmer and there was less distance. Finally, on the 5th of July 2011, Adam reached his second big goal. He was the first Englishman to accomplish this task. While training, Adam heard about a long-distance marathon called Ocean 7. He immediately decided to take part in it. He was very determined to do all seven locations. But something really scary happened to Adam when he was crossing the Cook Strait. On the 22nd of April in 2014, Adam started the swim. The Cook Strait is known to be unpredictable and dangerous. Adam had a GPS on him so that people ashore could track his movements. Adam spent over 7 hours in cold water. He started to worry about the temperature. But the next moment he totally forgot that the water was cold, because he saw an approaching shark fin. He quickly forgot the cold and focused the attention on the shark. Adam knew about the sharks, but he wasn't ready for such close encounter. He started to panic. He even thought that it was all over for him. But then he saw a pack of dolphins coming from each side. Dolphins immediately put him at ease. They didn't let the shark come near Adam. But he still wasn't entirely certain that this will help him avoid the predator. Adam was training for this moment for way too long, and it was too late to stop. The dolphins were protecting him, so he just kept on going. He later said that the dolphins seemed like they were having fun at first. But then they followed him for the next hour until the shark went away. It was a magical sight to behold, 10 dolphins around a single man. And it was almost like they participated in some kind of dance. They were almost touching Adam with their fins. Not many people knew that there was actually a dangerous shark nearby that would eat Adam alive if it wasn't for dolphins. It is still unclear what were the dolphins' intentions. They could have been just having fun, but at the same time they might have been protecting Adam from the shark. The swimmer tends to believe the latter. Adam said that he crossed the Cook Strait in 8 hours 36 minutes. But that didn't matter to him as much as the feelings he experienced throughout the swim. He said that swimming with dolphins for an hour was the best part. He likes to think that they were guiding and protecting him. That swim was certainly the one to remember. And so lastly, here's another interesting story. In 2003, wildlife filmmaker Hardy Jones did a documentary about dolphins. They were shooting not far from Japan. Hardy said that that time he had an unpleasant encounter with a hammerhead shark that was following him, ready to swallow poor Hardy any moment. Something very unusual was captured on video that time. The dolphins were acting pretty strange from the start, but the things got much weirder. All of a sudden, one of the dolphins rushed towards the shark. Two other dolphins did the same thing straight away. Hardy had a hunch that the dolphins were trying to protect him from the shark. They were circling around the creature, telling it to go away. Which is what it did eventually. Thanks to dolphins, Hardy was safe and sound. Alright, that's all for now guys. Press the like button if you liked the video, and don't forget to share it with your friends. 
subscribe to Real Bazaar and press the bell if you want to stay tuned for more interesting episodes. Also, check out some of our other videos. I'll leave the links in the description. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.